Bye bye. <laughs> Have fun going on today's vlog. I love you. What's up, howdy folks? This is Train True Mako. Uh, this is now day nine of the Keto Summer Shred. I uh, didn't record anything for day eight. <clears throat> it was a leg day. Uh, heavy squats actually. I think I did 275 for eight sets of four as the primary compound movement. It actually went much better than expected. So I think I'm getting back into this, you know, keto explosive energy mode, coming back pretty quickly because I've been on keto so long. Uh, weighing in actually still around the same. So I'm, I'm stalling at 79 kilos, but that's normal. I'm trying not to dip my calories too low, too early into the cut, because if anything, that'll make me stall out faster in the longer run. So I'm gonna take it gradually from here. I'm assuming almost all that initial water weight loss is kind of just flushed out of my system. So probably smaller fluctuations from this point on. So totally not disappointed that I'm still at 79. Uh, my goal is probably to lose about almost a kilo or probably less actually, one and a half pounds or maybe two pounds up to, up to a kilo per week but two pounds loss per week is actually on the extreme end. I'll probably be uh, cutting into muscle or I'm gonna be uh, sacrificing muscle if I go that fast. So one and a half pounds, maximum two, I think is a good range. Uh, today again is what, day nine. It's actually supposed to be a rest day, but uh, I'm gonna turn it into an active recovery day and kind of my cardio day as you saw in my other video you know, I can barely go through a full sentence uh, without heaving gasping for breath so I gotta work on my cardio a little bit I'm gonna do some low intensity steady state rowing on my concept 2 in the living room uh, I like rowing because it gets the whole body involved <clears throat> uh, also just watch TV go for like 30 minutes sometimes an hour goes pretty quickly uh, sometimes I do high intensity interval training on there, but I want to retain as much of my strength as possible. So I feel like, you know, that'll cut into my strength movements, uh, too much of my endurance, uh, too much maybe even glycogen will be sapped from that. So I'm choosing low intensity, nothing really interesting, just going to row. Yeah. Thirty minutes of cardio, around 300 calories, so I took it really slowly, but on the rower, it goes so fast, and well, I have the time today, so whatever. So today, rest day, active recovery day, just doing a lot of foam rolling to get the kinks out of my left leg, because that injury, I just walk lopsidedly over the years. Uh, a lot of muscular imbalances. So trying to roll out some of that. Uh, just some stretching, mobility work. Uh, active recovery usually means like get your body moving, uh, light weights, get the blood flowing. So I'm just doing a lot of band work. Nothing that's gonna take away from my strength compound movements in the next couple of days. Uh, but it still burns some calories, um, kind of speeds up recovery. So that's probably it for today. I'll see you tomorrow for hopefully a much better chest day than last. Peace. What's up? Day 10 of the keto cut. I weighed myself right in the morning at 78.8. .8. So it's not an all time low, but the average definitely is going down. You know, I averaged out 79 for the past few days now. 0.2 kilos down, which is not much, but you know, it's good. Better than nothing. All-time low was 78.6 last week, but you know, that was awkwardly low. Maybe my skill was weird. Maybe my uh, sodium levels were really low. Uh, maybe I just didn't drink that much water or something, but 
uh, I think I'm making progress. All right, today is gonna be a chest day, favorite day. Hopefully the injury is fading. Hopefully get some sort of rep PR, probably gonna be a light or speed day. All right guys, see you in the gym. As you can see, I'm already all warmed up. Surprisingly very sweaty, just after a little bit of rowing. Five minutes, low intensity. All right, so it's gonna be a speed day or low intensity chest day as part of my undulating program. Uh, if you're new, meaning I do a different rep range every day, four different types, speed, low intensity, moderate or medium intensity, high intensity. Uh, if you tuned in last video, I did a, I think it was moderate intensity uh, bench. Uh, I did like a five by five today. I'm gonna go anywhere from 10 to 12 reps or maybe even like 15 to 20 or 20 to 30. Uh, I might go really light just to really mix it up. Haven't done that in a while since my pec injury. Uh, hopefully going light but fast is okay. Don't want to tear it again. Okay. All right, other than that, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. My body's feeling really warm. I think that's a good thing. Uh, it is getting a little bit hotter here in Korea. Low body weight or lower body weight than before. But I still feel like I have a lot of energy, even though I only had my breakfast shake and my pre-workout. So the cut's going well. Uh, here goes. saw that I warmed up all the way to 345 usually my top warm-up single uh, around 85% of my one rep max and that was probably like triple quadruple the speed it was on my last chest day uh, makes sense I'm back in keto for um, 10 days now uh, first week I was a bit sluggish glycogen levels probably all messed up but and my body's readapting. I've been on keto two years, so I'll probably readapt much faster than most people. Uh, again, in my old videos, I discussed that, but true, you know, strength, explosive energy, adaptation to keto could take anywhere from three to six months. You know, I was in the, the latter, the longer range there. And, you know, I was one month out of keto. Uh, now I'm 10 days in. I feel like maybe I'm readapting again. You know, I haven't been eating that much. Uh, still on a cut, caloric deficit, only about 1,800 to 2,200 calories a day, but a lot of protein. And I'm feeling really good today. Uh, but I still gotta stick to my daily undulating program. I did a high intensity uh, bench day two bench sessions ago. Last time I did moderate, so today I'm supposed to do low or speed day. I feel like maybe I'll make it a speed day. Uh, those are always fun. I haven't tried 225 for an AMRAP in a few months. Uh, I've been seeing that on Instagram and YouTube lately. So maybe I'll go for a two plates AMRAP challenge. Uh, I think my previous was like 26 or 27 a couple months ago. Hopefully I could hit 30, I should, uh, today. So, all right, let's have some fun and give it a shot.
Ah. Oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> Easy. I think that's enough cardio for the whole week. Oh. Safe to say that's a PR. Holy moly, just demolished my rep PR from a few months ago at this weight. I admit I haven't given this weight a shot in a while, but after seeing some you know, NFL Combine style people on YouTube and Instagram, I was a little bit inspired. So uh, kind of a wide grip today just to see how it goes. Worked out really well for, I guess, a rep PR at least. 35 reps. That's pretty crazy, I think. Uh, I am very proud of myself right now, but I gotta do these remaining sets before I get cooled down too much. But yeah, who said you can't get some PRs while you're cutting on keto? Shut up all of you people who say you can't get explosive strength. If this isn't, isn't explosive strength, I don't know what is. Ooh, need to breathe. It's always hard to do commentary right after sets. So I finished up my five MRAP sets of two plates or 225 on the bench and it went great. Um, I got, I think, 35 reps for a set. Then it was something like 27, then 24. Uh, and then sets four and five drop down dramatically. I think that is usually where I start tanking uh, when I do MRAP sets, and that's fine. Uh, I think the last set, I just purposely slowed it down because I was beginning to feel that discomfort in my right pec again. Uh, at least it lasted me through the first three sets, no problem. So I think I'm healing. Hopefully today's not a setback for that because I kind of did some ego lifting. It's really hard for me to avoid that on the bench. Uh, so last set, I did some pauses, uh, died on the 12th rep. So as you can see, those safety straps are lifesavers, literally, figuratively. Uh, I rested a bit, but battery ran out, and then I just lifted it back off after resting a, a minute on my chest. Uh, so other than the last set, everything went better than planned. Uh, again, this is day 10 of the keto cut. Uh, after a month of cheating and I'm feeling great energy level still sky high feel like I got plenty 
uh, stuff left in the tank for all my accessories. Probably gonna do some light speed dips today. Uh, I'm gonna do some horizontal rowing to mimic the antagonist of the bench. It's always a good way uh, to even it out because you can't be too dominant in the chest. You need a good shelf in the back as well. Uh, what else? I usually do abs at the end. I'll probably skip all those accessories just to not make today's video exactly the same as the last. Uh, I guess today's video highlight will definitely be that NFL combine style AMRAP 225 35 reps. That's definitely going down in my record books. Very happy, very pumped. Let's finish this up. Let's go. Hi, so yeah. Uh, so I am now done with day 10 of the keto summer shred workout. It was a chest day. Went great. Speed day for everything. So I did five sets of MRAP bench. Uh, then I did some just body weight dips. Haven't done those for a while due to the chest injury. So I just did some you know, very quick body weight dips to get back into the motion. Nothing crazy, not going for any PRs. Hopefully just uh, getting the triceps worked. Then I did some dumbbell rows. Again, speed, so I went for uh, four sets of like 20. Uh, single arm, trying to keep the uh, symmetry. What else did I do? Uh, abs, so I did leg raises. Dip bar here is gone now, but a whole bunch of leg raises till failure. Just getting a nice pump. Honestly, I don't think I need to work on abs that much. I just need to keep them around the same and then shred the fat on top. I actually don't want to make them any bulkier than they are right now. Uh, maybe got to work on the obliques a little bit. All right, so physique update. Uh, day 10. This is relaxed. Letting it hang out. Then flexing the abs. I could flex them like this or like this. If I do like this, this pops out, but this gets a little bit flatter. Go like this. This is more muscular, but kind of bubbles out here. Uh, double bicep. <sighs> I did do some rows, so my lats probably a little bit pumped. <clears throat> okay. Side flexed. Side chest. Let's see the biceps do need a little work. Back. Yeah. Okay. This pose. Uh, my first week, uh, for those of you who are new viewers, I was feeling kind of down because after a month of cheating, my body had to go back into keto. Now, getting back into keto is easy. It only takes a couple days of being very strict, hitting the gym hard a couple days. But in terms of getting fully fat adapted, you got to give that some time. Again, I am going to readapt much faster than newbies to keto because I've been on keto for a couple years now, minus that recent one month of cheating. Uh, as you saw today, compared to my previous bench session, which sucked because that was my first bench session back on keto. This is now my second. Uh, it was amazing. You know, my warm ups all went much faster if you compare, compare them uh, to that day. 345 went up like a breeze. Uh, I hit a rep PR, I blew my old one out of the water. I was not expecting it. Yeah, I did four more sets, pretty much hit my old PR on my second set. Uh, so yeah, commentary today is don't smack talk keto for lifting. Give it time first, fully adapt. Uh, take your electrolytes. Uh, I did put a teaspoon of sea salt into my pre-workout and into my intro workout. So I had two teaspoons of salt within the past few hours of my workout. Uh, however, I do sweat a lot compared to most people. So some of you might want to tone that down. But a lot of people just smack talk keto saying they're so drained 
but a lot of them don't even take enough salt, which is like the easiest thing to do. You could just take that typical salt at the supermarket. You could take Himalayan pink salt, sea salt, whatever. Uh, getting some iodine is actually a good idea too, but you don't have to just load up on that one. Uh, what else? You know, I put potassium and magnesium into my pre-workout and intro workout as well, along with my protein shakes throughout the day before bed. Uh, so don't discount those. A lot of people just gas out because they don't even realize that electrolytes are really that important. Another reason I love my daily undulating program is that and I'm not always stuck at a certain weight. It gets very depressing, you know, when you're just stuck at the same weight, same number of reps, and you just can't push through that plateau. But when you're changing the rep scheme every time, you know, you have a different rep PR to aim for on any given day. Uh, and you're working out different muscle fiber types, so it's not just the mental part of it that is, uh, you know, more exciting, but your muscles just get a better uh, workout from it, more muscular growth, different muscle fiber types, fast twitch, slow twitch, etc. I explained that in one of my other videos, but uh, I think I'm going to make a video, a basic video at least at first on my program. It's going to take a while though because I have to explain so many days worth. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. But if you guys do want to see it, pretty, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, comment down below on what you want to see or if you're interested in this program at all. Hello, oh, I'm still hyped up from this workout. pre workout still in my body uh, even though it's been like three hours now. My chest is twitching. Okay, calm down, calm down. All right, I'm gonna have my post-workout 60 grams of protein. Not required, but that's what I do to hit my macros. Look at all that yummy food. Low carb tortilla. Oh, guacamole. Oh, what is this? Hello. I don't have makeup on. But you're still pretty. Yeah. Prettier than I am. True, but still on ya. That was a fast response. <laughs> okay, I agree. Ooh. Ketogenic chipotle. I don't know, that wasn't an aesthetic scoop. That's better. Juicy. Looks succulent. Stop. Looks <laughs> moist. Oh, oh. Damn. That is a generous portion of guacamole. It's extra. <laughs> extra? With mm -hmm. Two X's? Triple X? Weird. I'm weird. That's why you love me. Oh yeah. That oh. aesthetic wrap. Oh, oh, did she get it? Oh, it's, is it juicing out? I don't know. I think that's yours, not mine. Yep. Just kidding. That's why I put extra cilantro. Ah, okay. The wife loves cilantro. She could eat it just by itself. Make cilantro. What a weirdo. They say that people who love cilantro are crazy. <laughs> I just totally made that up, but so true. <laughs> Hot damn. Final meal on my plate. We got a keto burrito, drumsticks. It does look like this will go over 1,200 calories, but whatever. I just won't eat anything else for the day. Nighttime anyway, so I don't have to worry about that. Screw it, I'll just row more tomorrow, burn more calories, because this looks delicious. And I'm not gonna pull my hair out over just a few hundred more calories. So thanks, wife. Bon appetit.